Well, hello everyone. Go coin here and welcome to another series of foundation. This time we're gonna be playing in the fluvial map. Uh, we have already covered the coastal map and the valley map in terms of the original maps that come with the vanilla game. Now this time it's, it's you know we're gonna give some love to the fluvial map and we're gonna be playing with no mods whatsoever. No mods are gonna be used in this series. The idea is to cover as much as possible. Uh, before the update 2.0 or the update actually 1.9 comes out uh, hopefully pretty soon so let's go ahead and start before we begin if you're new to the channel welcome uh, we've covered a couple of series as i said in the coastal map and in the valley map in terms of the vanilla maps that come with the game and we also cover uh, you know series with mods right we play in the antigua map and in the provost map now one thing I, i'm gonna mention if you haven't played foundation much or you know uh, if you haven't played this map whatsoever, don't start here, though. Here, it's going to get you stuck. The reason why is because uh, you, I mean, you. there's going to be a quest where you need to, you know, get two citizens or two villagers, immigrants, and they won't be able to reach because you're going to need a, a basically a bridge. And you won't be able, unless you are, you know, you plan ahead and buy two territories, uh, then I wouldn't suggest to start here. I mean, you, you could try. Because each, remember, each territory costs 500 gold coins. And, and spending 500 gold coins, you know, early in the game can cost you. Uh, it's a challenge. Of course, you like, you know how I like challenge. And, of course, we're still, at the moment recording this video, guys, 233 subscribers. And I appreciate all the support. But make sure you check the link in the description for the 250 subscriber giveaway. Uh, we're 17 away. And, uh, you know, it's easy to participate for a chance to win a game. So... Make sure you check that out. All right, so let's go ahead and, and take, uh, um, you know, talk a bit about uh, about the map, right? So I'm, I was planning to start here, right? We have a coast, ideally. So my plan was like, or maybe start here, because I, I really want to get this island SAP. And the reason why is because I think this is really good for uh, fishing shacks. I mean, not fishing shack, but fishing huts. You know, I played with mods <laughs> recently. So now I have the idea of the fishing shack. But yeah, for the fishing, like make like this, like a fishing area, right? Uh, we have some other here. Uh, ideally, we'll be either starting here or here. I mean, we can choose in, um, you know, inner into the land, kind of like right here. But I'd rather start next to the, what it seems to be a little river, right? Let's see what else we have. Uh, we have that one. But yeah, I think this one is actually, or we can do this one. But the only problem with this one is that it doesn't have that much wood. We definitely need a lot of wood in the beginning. So I'm the, I'm, I, I think I'm going to go with this one, guys. So I'm going to go with this one this is actually a really nice if we take a look at the fertility in this area it's a really nice area for it could be some farms here right guys uh and then you know we have the middle the middle nodes over there so let's go ahead and start here i think it's a really nice area to start with and um yeah let's go ahead and see what happens here so buying the first land always if you're the first time playing foundation always follow the quest don't get ahead of the quest uh if you don't know i mean if you're if the first time you're playing this game because the quest will guide you through the steps that you need to learn. All right, so let's go ahead and place our village center. I was thinking maybe placing next to the, kind of like in this area, right? Because I think I think what we can, or, or even here, what we could do is, because uh, if we place it in the center, we're gonna be we're gonna have production and production here, and we don't we won't have a lot of like uh, room for residential areas, right? So yeah, I think. You know, building closer to the to to the you know to this is really nice, or even closer to this because the the forager hut uh, they don't they actually don't uh, it does I don't think it impacts desirability uh, in any way, but I think uh, of course this one impacts negatively. So I'm gonna start here, guys. I'm right kind kind of like right in the middle, but let's go ahead and get started here. So we finish that. We know if you play this game, we're definitely gonna need a builder's uh, workshop. Let's go ahead and place this guy. I'm actually going to place it here, uh, kind of like this way, always facing the, the villa center. And then, you know, you know me, I'm going to try, you know, if you have, you've seen my previous series before, you know, I like to build everything compact. I'm going to try not to do that right now. I'm going to try to go as smooth as possible, like leaving some areas uh, with openings and whatnot, just because I, I, I kind of want to try something different, uh, like, you know, different than my play, play, play style, basically. So first thing first, we have to tell them to, you know, cut everything, everything they can cut. Let's go ahead and, you know, actually, I, I usually like to select everything in the first uh, hexagon that we get just because. 
All right, so yeah, we need to assign builders. That's not gonna get built until we assign builders, of course. Uh, we we want a, of course, a well. Now, the last ep in the last series, we be, we built the first well right in the middle. I think it looks okay. It looks kind of nice, and the reason why is because uh, these boxes they don't go away when right they don't go away any any time in the game so you know covering those boxes with a whale might be good and i mean you know you usually want to take advantage of the disability but i think i'm gonna go here actually and i think it's really cool all right we, we're not gonna build that yet uh in fact we can actually tell them to pause that uh building uh yeah don't build it and then we're definitely gonna need a, a forest a forester hut maybe as you see it's no negative impact on that and then we're definitely gonna need a this one does have a negative impact we're definitely gonna need one of those all right let's see what else we're gonna need i mean we have the bridges right away because we, we will definitely need to go across we probably won't go across in the, uh, at the beginning uh i'm thinking maybe that's gonna be the third maybe the third land we bought we buy maybe we go one up maybe we go one up one uh, you know one to the right and then one here because we really need to take advantage of the of the wood that's going to be very very important early on all right so we build that let's kind of speed up time a little bit so we need to assign a wood cutter let's go and assign no one but three let's have them cut pretty fast in a timely matter if this is your first time playing the game of you know you want to try something new uh, make sure you don't use uh, all the resources especially the cloth guy Guys, uh, the, the cloth is going to be, uh, if you run out of cloth early on, and that's going to happen with the market, uh, if you if you decorate the market uh, early on, uh, you can run out of cloth, and that means that you're probably going to struggle a little bit to have a stay, the stone mason hut to produce a polished stone. So I wouldn't suggest using the cloth early on. Try to, try to save as much as possible. Same with tools, though. All right, so we're going to definitely need a... a a granary and i'm thinking this granary might actually be either towards this direction since we're gonna have some farm here or we can actually plan to have some farm there but i gonna be placing this guy kind of right in the right in the middle of the of the village center the reason why is because we want we're gonna have some fish here uh if we place it here i mean we're sacrificing the fish uh i think actually yeah i'm gonna be building right here in this corner actually there uh let me see so they're probably gonna come uh, they like to go around. They actually like to go. Let's see, because we gotta, we gotta be, you know, time. We gotta be see how the village is gonna enter. Because sometimes, for some reason, they usually go in here, but they, sometimes they like to go on the back. I never understood why. I mean, I'm not in the head of them, obviously. Uh, <laughs> that would be crazy, right? Uh, okay, so the market. We're gonna definitely need a market. Now, where do we want our residential area to to be? Do we want it to be across this area? Do we want it to be in this area? I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push for this area right here. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do something different. I usually build a market next to the village center. But this time, I'm going to build it kind of like right here. And the reason why is because I want them to kind of like... Let's see. Let me take a look here real quick. So I want them to, to make like a road kind of like right there and have markets along the, along the road right make it like you know one avenue with markets along along the avenue and then going into the residential area uh, let's see if we push a little bit back here although it's gonna be far away from the villa center i'm just trying th th new things you know it's always good to try uh this is what we're talking about so don't decorate if you're playing this game for the first time don't decorate early on just leave it as is and then you can decorate later on all right so if we build that there, I'm just trying to figure out stuff here. Okay, let's build that guy there. I know it's a little bit far away. Some of you might complain about it. I understand. I'm just trying something new, guys. I'm just trying something new, something I've never done since we've played this game quite a lot. And we're going to continue to play this game. I mean, the foundation, if you haven't noticed, is one of my favorite city builders out there. And it's actually not yet released. So that's something I'm looking forward to. All right, so we're definitely going to need to produce some berries continue the the mission here or the quest uh let's see we're gonna remove a guy from here uh, a one builder and we're gonna assign them to a miner because we're gonna need uh, you know we're gonna need some some definitely some stone for the well we can actually unpause gotta unpause the well there you go uh they, they already delivered the wood so it doesn't matter yeah the wood the wood quarters are are you know 
full right now so that's we're gonna get the warehouses one thing i think i said on my previous uh series is that if um, i wanted to play vanilla but with the with the storage uh mod and the storage mod is really nice because the warehouse does not impact uh the desirability but that's okay it is what it is uh, well, we can actually what we can do here later on is make make it like a fence something. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I really, I really, I really want to try this. So my idea is to like if they walk over here, kind of like make it like that, right? Something like this, and then uh, along the way. But anyways, we just need to wait uh, full speed. We're at full speed here, guys. We need to build these, and for that we need uh, someone working here. And what we can do is sacrifice a woodcutter and tell them to mine uh, pretty quickly here. So they're going to be mining as fast as possible. Now, another thing I'm thinking here, and we can actually remove this territory uh, boundaries, uh, is maybe, mm, you know, putting a, a church and a lower manor here. I'm thinking of maybe putting the lower manor right in front of the market, right across the street, right here. Kind of like right here. I think the lower manor there will be really nice. Although we're, gonna, we're not going to benefit from the desirability that it provides. But, but I'm willing to do so. I'm going to place the Lord Manor here and then a church here on the back and then all the houses. Of course, it's hard, especially if you're playing vanilla and you're not playing with any mods. It's hard to 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 kind of like get into the mind of the villagers in others. Or I mean, in terms of like where to build, in terms of like where to build their houses. And um, if you play this game, you know what I'm talking about. All right. It looks like uh, our last piece of stone has got, uh, you know, just got delivered. We just need to wait for them to hit it with a hammer a couple of times there and build a granary. We're going to need a person to be the transporter. Don't worry about happiness yet. Uh, it's It doesn't matter. Uh, we'll get to it once we build everything that's required, quote unquote, by the quest, right? So this guy doesn't matter either. We're probably going to move in. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we can actually do this area is kind of like nice for a forestry area. And I'm planning to go heavy in this uh, series, trying to go heavy on the on the hunting camps right i i know we haven't utilized those or used those before like quite a lot uh, and i kind of like want to go heavy on those so the granary is almost full here it's almost finished actually a couple more hammers there just one more lady and there you go we have the hammer i mean we have not the hammer but we have the granary now who do we want to sacrifice i think i'm gonna sacrifice uh, another builder i don't think we're gonna need a lot of builders right now until we get more people so assign a transporter and the first thing first assign berries so the transporter will get the berries from here from the forager and they're gonna bring it here and then the market tender which we need to assign as you can see here we need to assign a market tender we're gonna be sell it's gonna be selling berries so who do we want to sacrifice i think i'm gonna sacrifice one of the ma uh, the miners here to to become a market tender cool and uh i mean we can put one of those right I don't think it's going to be... Actually, I'm kind of like want to leave it like that. See if it works out pretty well. I think I kind of want to put it like right here, right? Like for the entrance. Kind of like right there. We'll see how it goes. I'm not going to place anything yet. As uh, Usually, early game, if you haven't played this game or, you know, it's if you have played this game too, like if you don't know this, I usually like to give some, you know, play uh, how I think, how I play. Usually, what I do is I don't worry about uh decorations or modification or or or, or city layout until mid late game the reason why is because you know think about traveling time go to the medieval ages they didn't see i mean go to google and 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 you know and read about the history usually even in the movies usually they start off uh with cities like this they start off with nothing and then they will grow up very crowded cities or very messy cities. And as, as their technology grew and as their as their as their knowledge grew, they will modify those buildings and they will make it more efficient and the roads and whatnot. But they didn't start as organized as as you know as as they wanted to be, uh, of course, as or later on. You know what I mean? So so kind of like mimic that uh, realism there. Definitely, it's really good. So one thing I'm gonna do since I don't like this. Uh, I mean, we have to, we have to be careful here because I really don't want them entering this way. In fact, I really want them to go this way. Let's see if they actually do that. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Kind of want to go that way. Let's see if we actually they do that. Uh, that would be pretty nice if they do. We just need to see if uh, once they're hungry, they go there. 
All right, we probably we don't have any more quests. All we need to do, we have a, the immigration is a maximum. All we need to do is for two people that come. Ah, there you go. Uh, why? Okay, so they just came. Uh, where were they? Okay, so they're buying there. All right, so yeah, I didn't see them coming, but there it is. A message from the Kimber. If we know this, I'm, I'm I am, but your humble servant. We know how the deal works. Now there is the residential area. Uh, this is actually low, but it's oh average. Okay, because of the market here. Okay, housing insufficient. Yeah, I know. We know. We we already know. So first, okay. So we have the Lord Manor. I think that's something we actually need. Uh, but let's go ahead and open the menu here, guys, and we can actually we have some influence, and we can unlock the the warehouse and the Bailey's office. Now. What are we gonna do? What's the plan here? I mean, usually the plan is, you know, just to go with the flow. Uh, but I really want the Fisher Hut since we have literally the coast next to us. So we need to promote your first newcomer. We cannot promote until we have the Lower Manor, and we have to unlock the trade with the with the warehouse. Now, the warehouse I'm gonna be placing it here. I think I, I already had it in mind before I started because I don't want to place the warehouse. It's gonna get messy, so I rather place the warehouse here. Now, sometimes this warehouse gets tricky. Uh, and I'm going to place it here. The reason why is because sometimes they enter this way and sometimes they enter that way. So if we place it like that, as you can see the arrows, so they're going to go around. I don't like them to go around. So I'm going to place this guy here and I'm planning to do this like an industrial area, right? So place that uh, right there. I know I said I didn't want stuff to be start, like crowded, but you know, you got you to gotta, you know, gotta play with the, what the game offers you. All right, so let's see here. All right, lock trade is what we just need to do that. And let's go ahead and start our lower manor. And uh, as I said, we're going to be placing our first lower manor here. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to take the other option will be to place it like right here in the middle. But I, I really want to place it here. And if, if, if that's OK, if we don't take advantage of the desirability, we can take advantage of that uh, doing something else. So the lower manor is going to be simple, uh, very simple. Does this go with this? Let's see um kind of right or we can actually do the stone one i'd rather do the simple one there just for now i'm just gonna do a simple one let's go ahead and add a couple of uh extensions or to the side something like that i think that's okay right uh no no well no that that's not okay for sure <laughs> all right so that's okay for me and then of course the visitor will be coming this way let's go ahead and build it all right, that's going to cost us uh, 22 and we're going to kind of cost of planks and we haven't worked on plans yet. Uh, and that's something we actually that's a good reminder because I think we're going to need planks for this guy here. Yep, we will. So let's go ahead and get us our first sawmill, guys. Ooh, that's outside territory. All right, that's pretty interesting. So let's get our sawmill kind of like here. No, not that, but the sawmill kind of like here in the back. I think he will be kind of nice right there. And then we can actually next to it or in front of it, we can actually put, put a, a stone mason hut later on. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then, I mean, this guy, don't worry about this guy. This guy is going to be moved later in the game. Uh, yeah, just, we just need to wait for that. And we can actually start laying out some residential areas. And actually, since we have two unemployed, let's go ahead and sign them as builders uh, right now. And then we can, we can reassign them later on. I don't know if this is going to work pretty well as I wanted to. Of course, the market tender has to walk on the back. I wonder if we can actually force him to go around. Let's see if we can actually do that. So if you haven't played this game, you can force people uh, where to walk using the Forbidden Land. I'm wondering if actually they can do this. Uh, I'm, and, I, and, I know how they, and I know how they work. I know how they are. So that's why I go all the way because they are very, very tricky villager so he has to uh, let's see if he can go around around like this i didn't see him walking out actually <laughs> i didn't see him i'm sorry <laughs> anyways let's go and wait for the uh, sawmill to happen and then we'll go from there all right so the sawmill has been built that that took a little bit i'm not gonna lie so i was i managed to i, I kept looking at this guy i managed to have him walk around uh, I, I had to tweak it a little bit and here and there and I had to expand this forbidden land uh, but but yeah now he's you see he's trying to go across here and then he goes around uh, that's gonna be tricky to <laughs> to impose for the rest but we'll see how it goes so we definitely need uh, to have someone here and my thinking in here is like I had to add a new uh, another miner I took it from I took him from the woodcutter 
So I'm going to remove a miner and place a carpenter here. Uh, I think all the stone has been delivered. We don't need any more stone. And of course, I mean, we can definitely remove one of the foragers, uh, but I really want the, the, the food to keep coming. Uh, food is really important. Very, very, very important. So we don't want to risk that. Actually, what we can actually do is remove another builder and place a another car carpenter here. And then, you know, we're going to be producing planks. We're, we know, we're produced two. Well, we, we produced two. I was going to say we have produced two so far, but it's going to be used. I mean, I mean, we need 15 and then 55, right? Yeah, 53, actually. So we need quite a lot. And then, of course, once we get the warehouse, we're going to be unlocking the trade route to get tools. And that trade route, uh, it's, it, of course, unlocked here. So we need, we need 20 planks. Now, there is... You see this box if you if you haven't played foundation you know for longest time uh you know if are you i don't know if you ever wonder why is this here why they didn't design this in a way so there wasn't anything empty here i always wondered that for the longest when i first played foundation uh or you know when when they i first saw it basically so so the reason why is because something goes here and i'm gonna i'm not gonna spoil it uh but something goes there and, uh, you know, it's very interesting. I I actually had to Google it back then when they introduced that. And I was like, oh, interesting. Okay. But anyways, yeah, we're here in our really beautiful city. And I'm going to take advantage of this and uh, make, make, you know, mention that uh, I appreciate all the support. And I remind you guys, I mean, uh, 233 subscribers uh, right now at the moment, 250 subscriber giveaways happening. I really want you to participate for a chance to win. Uh, you don't have you don't you don't even need to subscribe to participate you just check the link in the description it's just a one minute and a half video and uh you know explaining how to enter the giveaway all right so let's take a look here so the sawmill the sawmill has produced some planks i mean this guy we're probably gonna need a full uh two or three full times since we're now producing so uh you know the sawmills uh or not the sawmill but the planks very often this guy needs to be hit hit by two times with the hammer maybe three times 11 times <laughs> you know i don't know you count it typically that they get there and they go to rest nope oh, she decided to finish it all right so we're gonna you know we're gonna do tools here and we're gonna import them now we we need someone here to work there i don't know who who, who we can place here i really i'm thinking maybe let's go ahead and remove another builder and add him as a transporter the reason why is because i want planks to be you know produced as much as possible because we have this and I mean, we could remove a, yeah, removing a, a builder is okay because we are we have only one building being built at the moment. Uh, once we authorize housing, and we can actually do that right now, but I'd rather place the, the church first. Once we have that, we're gonna need a lot of builders. So let's go ahead and take a look here. We need to unlock the route. We need 20 planks for that. And the way we can do it is we can bring the planks here, right? And we can tell them stock at maximum. Yeah, so stock maximum. Uh, so that what it does, I believe so. I keep forgetting how it how it works here. So if we go to our what is it trade? No resources. We have plank. Yeah. So buy. So no. Uh, what is it? No trade here. Track stockpile. So prevents villagers from take from using store resources. So let's go ahead and store as much as possible. That way we can actually uh, you know unlock the trade route. And then let's go ahead and buy tools until we have. I think we're going to be using tools. Let's go ahead and do 11 or let's do 15 because the tools are going to cost us an arm or a leg. It's going to cost us a really good eye. It's cost uh, 20 per. And usually I think that the, the trader brings five, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, so yeah, we're talking about 100 gold coins there. I mean, you see we have some here, but <laughs> don't don't get, you know, don't, don't get don't get a mistake. And it's <laughs> that money is going to we're going to go into the negative sometimes. So. All right, so we need two more planks. Or actually, looks like we can actually unlock it. Let's go ahead and do so. Let's go ahead and remove this stockpile, and let's go ahead and remove this. And we already unlocked the tr the tool, and then we get a free territory. We definitely need to, you know, uh, promote our. That's one thing I want to talk to you about, guys. Uh, never, you know, never uh, rely on newcomers. So, if you haven't played this game before, uh, or you know, you have played but little. So you have newcomers, and as you can see, we have some surf. Surf will require extra stuff, right? The newcomers will not generate as much money as a surf will do. 
right? So after serve, we have commoners, and after commoners, we have citizens. Don't keep too many newcomers. You're going to see me doing it, but always balance it, right? Try to keep as, as less newcomers as possible. That way, your city can prosper in a, you know, in, a, in a timely and respectful manner. Now, where do we... We get a free territory for completing that quest, by the way. So, where do we want to expand? Do we want to go straight to the next to, to the next island? Do we want to go... I think over here will be really, really interesting. A really nice area. This one will be very, very, very good because we have more wood there. Um, it's hard to say. Actually, I'm going to go this way, I believe. Uh, that way, we can actually expand our territory here a little bit. But I think the most beneficial one would be kind of like this one since we're trying to rush uh, a fish. I don't see any fish bank around though. I see this one here, uh, but not not in this area. Interesting. Uh, I think they're they're gonna go they go there, but you know I'd rather have them go this way, like kind of like in the front. That if we place it here, they have to, you know, all the way down here and go all the way back. That's that's not as efficient. So what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna select any territory yet. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna claim it uh, just for now. I'm gonna place the church. Let's see, where do we want to place the church? I think the church will be really good if we place it kind of like in this area. I mean, we can actually push it into the city a little bit if we absolutely want to. Remember, this is going to be like a, like a market here. At least that's my intention. Or we, if we want really want to take advantage of the Lord Manor, what we can do is, you know, go back. But I really don't want to do that. I kind of want to stick to the plan I have, I had. So, all right. So let's go and place this really nice church kind of like facing the water that's really gonna this i think facing the water is what we want here and let's see what happens here so i mean we can place a big church i usually the first church i usually do a big and the reason why is because you're gonna rely on this church quite a lot so i'm gonna be building this and see what happens so there you go guys this is our church and i'm gonna pause the game here because i, I want to explain a little bit what i did so i had to buy that territory as you can see here i claim this territory because the church was not fitting there so i claimed that one and what we actually what we have here we have a monk that is actually requesting an audience but i don't see him though oh, it looks like it's oh look at <laughs> what are you doing right in the middle so you know we get those you know this uh quest uh, from you know from time to time sometimes it's the monk sometimes it's the king that asks us stuff uh I, and i mean if you play this game i'm sorry if i'm repeating stuff i just you know trying to explain as much as possible for those uh, who haven't played or are interested in the game so i'm not gonna do anything because it's ask they're asking for tools so i rather i'm gonna keep it all there's no negative impact in fact there's a negative impact if you buy it or if you accept the quest and then don't deliver all right so the church is gonna be here it's gonna cost us an arm, or an arm and a leg it's gonna take us a little bit time to to build it uh, and the reason why I did it this way is because I'm planning to do something here in the future. So we're going to be facing that way. We're going to be building houses along this way. And I think it's really nice. I mean, the market is going to go this way. It's not going to be like the market is going to go all the way, you know. We're probably going to have like three or four market tenders there at most. Maybe maybe four at maximum. Uh, let's go ahead and build it. And let's go ahead and stop the game. Uh, you know, I had a pause, sorry. All right, so let's see here. So we definitely want to, uh, let's take a look. Yeah, we definitely want to collect all these uh, forests here. Do we have any more forests? Yes, we do. So let's go ahead and collect all of that, uh, authorize it. And what we're going to do is going to bring the residential. Uh, of course, hide next to the church, but I'm going to do it kind of like in this area. So let's go ahead and plan it to be... Now, this is this is the walking. So do you see this, this uh, path is where villagers come from outside the map so villagers come from outside the map and they walk all the way here into the city so i i don't think it's a problem if you if you you know stop them like you know block this area They're, they'll find another path i mean they're gonna come from the same place but they're gonna find another path so let's go ahead and build houses around this uh we don't own that territory that's fine this territory at least let's go ahead and build around this here and i actually I'm gonna authorize some houses here if they want to I'm, I don't think I don't see a problem for that yet. Okay, cool. All right, we probably want want to put a well right in the middle too, like kind of like right here. To be fair, kind of like maybe here. Yeah, I'm gonna give them a well there, so they can drink water from the well. 
All right, let's go ahead and inspect our city here. We have a 60%, you know, they're complaining about service. We're building in the service and they're complaining about housing. Uh, there you go. Our first house is being built. Of course, it's just one. Oh, we actually built the lower manor already. Cool. So we, we for the lower manor, we definitely want the gray hall and then the bailey's office. And then we need to assign a bailiff. We'll take a, we'll take a look at that right now. And then we definitely want both to be the, uh, or usually the wooden tower, just to, you know, clarify that is the one that gives you more treasury. Treasury means the bank account here. So are we willing to risk and, you know, sacrifice someone from an industry to make them a bailiff? I think we do because the bailiff is going to find stuff for us. So we are definitely going to uh, Suero. Suero, he's going to be the, the bailiff. I usually go for the happiness uh, early on. So Suero, you are our first. And let's go ahead and nominate him. And he's gonna be available for mandate and promotion available. Let's go and promote them all to surf. There you go. And then of course we it's enough promotion for now. And then we finish that quest. Now we have a lot of uh, prospect minimum deposit in proximity. So we have this one, we have that one. Uh where it is it? We have those ones over there, and we have that one. So to know which one we want to investigate, we click here here. I mean, which one is closer, you guys? Uh, I think this one is closer, or maybe that one actually might be closest i mean it's gonna take a while to now that i think about it it's gonna be <laughs> well i say a while but i'm gonna th I, th I think i'm gonna go for this one for now i mean eventually we're gonna do all of them eventually so it, it doesn't matter after all all right so this is the church some houses are being built i think only one house oh these guys are building houses too no villagers are coming it's unfortunate, but uh, what we need to do here is to increase our... It's unfortunate because, you know, we need the comfort to, to boost that up. So let's go ahead and remove a carpenter, assign a builder. And I'm planning this to be kind of like the entrance for what it might become a bridge here. Hopefully they can do it this way or even here. I, I you know, I can approve that one there. All right. So we unlock the stone mason hut because we have 10 surf. After you get 10 surf, we get some stuff here. Obviously, iron smelter, blacksmith, and whatnot. We are not gonna be using any of that uh, for a, for a, you know for a good minute. Let's look at that; it's pretty far away. So the stone mason, I don't think we're gonna need uh, to place it just yet. I'm actually thinking to place it here in the future, but I don't think we need it just yet because if you would go here, I mean, we could use him for for selling polished stone. There you go, polished stone. But we don't need the. Well, I mean, we do need the money, kind of, because we need some tools. But, but, I mean, we don't have the people, if you if you know what I mean. So, rather not do that yet. What we could do later on is the Forester camp. We all, we cannot forget about him. He's very important. And, of course, we unlock the, the wheat uh, when we get 10 surf. Now, we can either go this way, right? Accumulate 500 gold coins and buy this and, and make this like a farming area. And I'm not against that idea whatsoever. Or we can buy this area, go across and place, uh, because it's fertile. Uh, regardless of it looks like a sand it's fertile it's fertile land uh, and i'm not against that whatsoever but what does that that means is that we're going to sacrifice the you know this land for could be a residential area you see some some stone here for for some uh, you know we're going to sacrifice it for some uh farming area but I, I i don't mind it whatsoever i don't mind it at all and the reason why is because what would be nice is like make like a uh, you know wheat farm here a wheat farm here, whatever all the thing here, and they make a path right in the middle, and I think that's that's gonna be that's gonna look beautiful. Everything in this game looks beautiful, doesn't it? <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this game as much as I do. I know I know it has, it's gotten great great support in the channel, uh, and it's it's one it's the the game that I've covered the most uh, throughout this couple months that I've been you know doing this. All right, so it looks like we actually we're able to fulfill our needs here that and it, this takes times to grow a uh, couple years in game time years uh but 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 yeah at least at least it's growing we can see it's growing so it looks like it it worked out pretty well all right let's see what else uh did i not oh we have the <laughs> the chip statue and actually we i have a really good fo a funny story about the chip statue uh <laughs> you can take a look at that one in the first uh, series i think is the the coastal map, actually, the coastal map. <laughs> yeah, that was a fail. It was a fail when we built our first ship statue. 
Uh, in the last series, uh, we actually built a sheep statue next to the sheep uh, farm, and I, uh, that's actually what we can do here. But uh, but unfortunately, I mean, it gives desirability around this radius, so we might want to place it, you know, close to the houses, kind of like right here in the middle. But at least our market situation is looking like it's good. Uh, obviously, what we can actually do is block this passage here and force them to go through, you know, other path. And I think the other pass, uh, uh, there it might be. What we can do is leave it like as is right now. We can actually leave it as is and then build a market here or in front of it. And then they're going to be forced to walk. Ideally, we'll be walking across here. But, but yeah, that's going to be way too much micromanagement. Yeah, one thing I just noticed is that I believe I didn't check out. So we we promoted or, or we assigned Sway, Sway to to be the bailiff. <laughs> and he was the woodcutter. So I was like, why is nothing getting built? <laughs> because it was uh, everything was missing wood. So what we're gonna do is, you know, you know, get rid of this guy here and do wood cutter, get as much wood as possible. I had to remove someone from the forager as well. Uh, we have 170 berries, so I think we're good for now. One thing we can actually start checking is that you see, we actually unlock some other stuff in the kingdom state. Now, we unlock the wooden keep, the wooden wall, and, you know, some decoration here for the large stone wall. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the wooden keep first. And the reason why is because we're probably going to get... Yep, there you go. We're going to get a quest. Now, where are we going to build our wooden keep? <laughs> uh, we can... <laughs> I was going to say we can build it here, right? But we, this this island here has so much use, right? We can use it in so many ways. But actually, we I, I, I'm not against the idea of building it like here. That's actually might not be a bad idea, though, right? And build like a wall around it, kind of like this. Uh, we didn't lock it, but kind of like around. But we kind of want to build it in a, in a large area. In fact, here might not be... I, I mean, I might not be against building it here, and you know push the production area towards that that territory we'll see how it goes uh i usually like to plan ahead but ne it never in i never follow the plan it's so it's so crazy i never follow the plan i don't know why <laughs> i always you know go to the tangent and never follow the plan but it looks like we are actually service servicing people already uh 25 at least just for now which is really really good uh we just got someone happiness going up so let's go ahead and assign this guy to this guy over here because I think we're going to need planks for this one. Yep, we're going to need 111. We have delivered 54 so far. We need the rest. You do the math. 67 maybe. That's the math there. All right, a monkey's requesting an artist. Let's see. If it's berry, I'll take it. Uh, they want wood. Oh, uh, we're, we're short on wood. So they give, us, uh, they give us some influence there. But yeah, no, we're very short on wood because uh, I made a mistake there. But that's okay. In fact, here, this area will be very nice. So ideally, we'll be buying this territory and expanding our residential area. If you haven't played this game, guys, one thing you have to... And I don't know if they're going to change this uh, in the next update, on future updates, but, or when the game is released. But one thing you need to consider, guys, is that people will not build their house if they're farther... That, I mean, I mean 150, 150 meters from or more plus... From their workplace they have to be their house has to have to be uh, 150 meters from the workplace that's something that needs to be considered uh if not you're gonna sometimes you're gonna struggle like why people are not building houses if you if we build them here they're gonna be you know that's too far from my workplace so i don't like it all right so it looks like the bailey found some marble it's not the it's not the, what i wanted him to find but uh, hopefully this one or this one is uh, iron, hopefully, right? Uh, a bailiff is available for mandate. We don't have the money yet, but we definitely, you know, once we have the 100. And as you can see here, we're into the negative. And the reason why is because we keep buying tools. Uh, we actually, we don't need to buy tools anymore. I thought we did. So let's go ahead and tell this guy, stop buying, selling us tool. You're ripping us off. And then we're probably going to need to start selling planks. Uh, planks, right? That's what they buy? Or it's uh, it's only... Yeah they, yeah, they do buy planks and they do buy polished stone. We have 11 stones. We, yeah, we need more here, but but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Promotion available. Let's see if we can actually promote everyone. <laughs> yeah, you see? Promoting to commoners. It's a very impactful. They're going to need another food. So, so they need one type of food, right? Surf. 
This time we're serving them berries. Pro co commoners will need an extra type of food. We're only say, serving berries and other stuff. Maybe the fish, maybe the, the boar, whatever you decide to do. So bread, uh, and then they're gonna need goods. You need the sheep farm. You need some other stuff and comfort. They're gonna need a special house there. So it, it can be the same house that they're building, but they're just gonna upgrade it. And these houses upgrade. So right now you can see it only occupies two people. Uh, they can upgrade it to occupy six people and then commoners. And then upgrade visually to commoners. Visually, right? All right, I really need these guys to get rid of all these trees. That way we can actually take a better look of what's happening. Uh, so what we want to do is tell them, stop cutting all of this. Don't cut this. Not of none of this, right? And then we can actually come across. In fact, why don't we do this? Let's go ahead and do this. I think it's going to be better. They're going to complain. They don't have anything. We have to give them this. And then let's go ahead and tell them to cut all of this. In fact, I'm kind of authorized this one and that one. No resources to extract. Who's complaining? Oh, that was probably the woodcutter. Uh, we can move him after all. Like, I mean, later on, we can move him here. Uh, and you know use this space for something or we'll leave it like like as is maybe a decoration maybe a statue there we'll see how it goes all right everything is looking phenomenal we have some promotions we are not promoting anyone else uh money is bad but that's okay it's early on it's not like uh, we're suffering from it and um we don't need the money right now uh, all we need to do is having people you know deliver stuff back and forth back and forth uh these guys are they not working or or what are they what, what's the deal here or they're probably using a lot of them at the same time like everything's going to the houses and and the church the church it requires yeah all <laughs> yeah everything the church requires everything that we're producing and the houses only requires wood but it's just a time of delivering all right so we just got two people one of them and assigned to be a woodcutter we really need a lot of wood uh planks are looking better and now uh, you know some houses are getting built already or just got built look at this one this is the one is, is, I think this is the one we were looking at that was a 2-2. Two, two. Now it's a 6-6, six, six, you know what I mean? So they upgrade it as they need. Um, and this one this one is the church. And this one, I think this one is the first one that got placed. Last one that's been built. Poor guys there. And of course, the well here right in the middle. I think that well is well positioned. That way we can actually expand our residential area towards this area once we... Uh, not that area though. That area is not allowed. So yeah, this area will be a very nice, like coastline. Uh, I think six houses is more than enough. I mean, if we absolutely want to, we can actually place a house here. And that, I mean, that's, I mean, it, it won't hurt whatsoever. It's kind of like a neat house there next to the lower manor. I don't think they're going to be building anything there, but we got to be careful. Has to be a 2-2 two -two house because if they, they, you know, they upgrade it, it's got, might get like visually kind of like right here, as you can see might get you know in my impact the other the, the lower manner in this case we go two more people which is amazing uh, i don't think we need another another builder but rather another miner in fact i'm gonna do three miners and actually i'm gonna store stone here and the reason why is because we're gonna be placing our first stone mason hut and where is it there it is actually we can place this guy kind of like here, but no, I like I like I like it here. I place this guy right here. Let's see. Where's the entrance? Right there. I think that's a really nice area to place him next to the to this one. And as I said, you see, we need five clothes. Another thing that will will consume your clothes is this one. If you decorate the lower manor and you use the banner, it uses 10 clothes. So yeah, this guy is very important to you know sell. Right, so we can actually get this warehouse and say store polished stones. Right, uh, we're probably gonna need another warehouse just to store wood, but that's not necessary right now. And in fact, we can place that warehouse here, or or maybe uh, maybe you know push it a little bit back. All right, let's see here. Church being built, almost done. Uh, do we have any more? I don't think we have any more points. Yeah, we haven't done any more quests. We need twenty sir for this. Happiness is looking great. Unemployment uh hmm, do we want to push him there what else are we missing here we can do another minor but that will be pushing it way too much i think i'm gonna leave it for for this guy once it gets built or we can actually build another lumber camp but i think three guys for now it's you know it's it's okay it, at least we have the houses taken care of i wish they built here though 
is a really nice spot for another house, but you know, you cannot force them too much. Uh, in fact, we can actually push it here a little bit back here, uh, kind of like right there. They're probably, I mean, the, the it's not gonna get fulfilled the desirability because I'm not planning to put anything here or other, maybe a bridge if, if, if any. Uh, and then here, so one thing I, before, before we, you know, before we move on, one thing I wanted to mention, guys, don't place. To this, so when you place a market here, this call it's a call a monument, right? So don't place different or you know same stalls within the same monument. If you want, for example, if we're selling fish, uh, and you want surf to buy the sea the, uh, the fish instead of the berries, they're always gonna go to the first one you build within the same monument. Kind of like if you place it here, they're gonna oh, they're gonna be buying from from the berry first. I usually like to go. Or do it in within the different monuments, if that makes sense. Uh, that's something I learned uh, recently, actually. I didn't learn it when I first started the game. I learned it recently. All right, looks like money's coming in. We can actually send this guy to an expedition just to see if we. Hopefully, he finds. Uh, oh, there it is, our first envoy. There you go. Yep, an envoy is requesting an audience. Let's see what they want. They want fish. We don't have it. Why are you always asking for something that I don't have? Huh? <laughs> Yes, they like to do that, man. It's it's incredible. Uh, it looks like planks have not been delivered yet, but uh, they will pr probably. And this guy is finished. It is actually. Let's go ahead and start producing some polished stone, and we're gonna sell all. At the beginning, we're gonna sell all the polished stone. We go here resources. Uh, we go down to where is it? Polished stone. There it is. Sell above ah uh, zero. We're gonna sell all the polished stone available. Uh, we're, we're not gonna need polish stone for a for a good time and um you know the the gold coins are really really new, nice right now because we almost went to the negative we're gonna need to buy or you know produce or put more of these buildings uh in fact the the wheat farm costs 75 the windmill costs 100 but we're going we're going this way guys we're definitely going this way i made up my mind and uh and that's about it i'm gonna be calling here guys Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I will see you in the next episode. I will see you next time. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye, guys.